Hello, this is Gio, and today I will be showing you how to measure voltage using a digital multimeter. Now this is just a standard Radio Shack brand uh, uh, multimeter that I picked up a while ago, and it's just a 42 uh, range digital multimeter. And first thing you probably notice is it has a dial with a bunch of buttons and all these little symbols that you can't even read. Um, well, most of these symbols uh, measure some kind of a, uh, electrical currents and, and, and like ohms, but it also does voltage, and that would be under the V symbol. Now there's a bunch of different squiggly lines and dotted lines above it in this case, but the V indicates that it's for voltage. And right now it's on the off. Um, it's off, so I'm just going to switch it back on to the V symbol and then you get a lot of numbers up here. Now, now the numbers are kind of high. Here's the two leads and they're not touching anything and you're still recording things. Well, it happens to be defaulted at millivolts or MV and you could probably see that here or maybe you can't, but just the air between these two leads are enough to um, to read a voltage in the air, so that's that's why you're seeing so much. So for the so the first thing you want to do is determine what kind of range of voltage you want. And today I'm just going to test out a standard one and a half uh, volt uh, AA battery. And so I want to set this to a, uh, an appropriate range. So there is a range button here, so I'm going to hit that range, and it, it switches to volts. It's zero point. 0, 0, 0.02 volts, so I'm going to just hit it again. And here is like it goes 0, 0, 0, 0.00 0 volts. And so I think that's a good range. I could set this, preset it so it can measure as much as a thousand volts. But uh, here it could measure up to 10 volts with, uh, you know, uh, a fraction of a volt as well. So I think that's a good range. So I'm going to set this up so you can see me test it. So I'm not well set up here, but I think I have everything so you can see it. You can see the display, you can see the two leads, and you can see the battery. So I'm just going to place the two leads on either side of the battery. Now, the leads are typically red for positive, black for negative, and so you generally want to measure the uh, b battery in that way. So uh, we put the positive on the positive lead, negative, negative lead. So let's see what happens. You do that and it's 1.45 volts. Okay, so that worked out. This is supposed to be a one and a half volt battery. Eh, it's not quite, but it, it's good enough. But now I want to switch these leads and show you what happens. So I'm okay, so I just switched hands. I reverse the leads. Now the uh, red lead is on the negative side of the battery. The black lead is on the positive side. And so let's see what happens now. So I go ahead and touch it. And it's still recording 1.45 volts, but negative 1.45. So reversing the leads still record the voltage, but in negative. So I'm just going to show you this again. I'm just going to switch this way, touch the leads again, and it's back to positive. So if you do get a negative, just go ahead and switch these leads, and you'll be fine. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is add a battery. So I'm just going to add this one battery here. So this is a Duracell. We might as well compete to see which one's better. So we're just going to put a Duracell. Now that's 1.5 volts. And we measure, hold on, do I have this right? Let's put the black in the right order. So uh, I touch. So this is 1.4 volts. So the Duracell is 1.4. The Energizer is 1.5 or 1.45. So the Energizer in this case and it's just randomness. It is just slightly better. So now I'm going to put them in series. I'm just going to connect them. I'm just going to touch the negative to positive end like this. And I'm going to measure the full voltage between the two of them. So I'm, I measure that and I get 2.85 volts. So 1.4 volts plus 1.45 volts equals 2.85 volts. So it's just an addition of bo the both batteries and so and that's what what is expected so and that's how you measure the voltage in this case of batteries you, you could uh, measure all sorts of different types of batteries or you can also uh, measure voltage in electronics 
such as this computer, or if you go to much higher voltage, uh, you can you can measure more higher voltage uh, components. So I hope this helps you out, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.